friends. Hi, everybody. So today we have a really special episode. Yeah. Thank you so much. Your and I'm hair is like chips and popcorn. Why? Because it's brown. Oh, okay. The first thing we're going to do is the five best tips when dealing with curly hair. Then, at the end of the video, I'm going to send you over to my friend's channel, Girls with the Curls, and she's going to tell you the five things to not do, to never do with curly hair. So she has an amazing channel. She has four beautiful curly hair daughters. So you're really going to enjoy her video. Make sure you watch it. Make sure you stay till the end, and so you can go see Elizabeth's channel. Let me introduce Elizabeth right now. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, guys. Be here from Girls with the Curls. I am so excited to be teaming up with Curly McKee in our collab on the five do's and the five don'ts of curly hair. So a little bit about myself. I am a YouTuber that makes hair tutorials, tips and tricks on my YouTube channel, Girls with the Curls. Much like Curly McKee, I also teach tips, tricks, and tutorials on biracial hair. I've been on this curly hair journey for five years. My oldest is five, I have twins that are three, and the youngest is one. I am so looking forward to today's video. It's so exciting to be doing this with another curly hair expert. We are here to offer you our best advice, and I can't wait for us to get started. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And so now we're gonna get into Elizabeth. So now we're gonna get into the five tips when dealing with curly hair. I wish my hair could be purple and pink. Oh really? Does that feel good? It's so good. So tip number one. The biggest piece of advice I give people when first dealing with curly hair is you have to moisturize. Which Ron's gonna do to my hair right now. So, moisturize means a couple things, and so I always add water to her hair. And, and water makes your, your, um, your body feel good. It does. That's why we drink lots of water. So, but that's just to open up the cuticle, but to really add moisture, you need a couple other things. And so, this is my current favorite, is this moisturizing hair Can milk. I have this? So, leave-in conditioners are really important. Moisturizing hair Wait. milks like this, but it's just... The absolute number one thing you have to do to curly hair is moisturize. The other tip when moisturizing is to deep condition. So I've only used this twice now, but this curl mask is incredible. And so find a really good deep conditioner. We deep condition once a week. Do that on the full day, so we shampoo, condition, deep condition, and that's the only time that we'll shampoo that week. So tip number one, moisturize. Daily, um, week. The number one thing you need for your hair is moisture. So the second tip I'm going to give is to clarify. So you're adding different products, and so like we normally do a styling milk or leave-in conditioner, and then some sort of cream in the winter, or we'll do a gel, and then your deep condition. You know, you're so you're adding these products, and so a lot of times you'll get buildup on your scalp. Um, you know, in the summer you might get chlorine buildup, you know, there's sunscreen, all that sort of stuff. And so you really have to make sure since we're not shampooing it all the time that you have to clarify. That What that really does is it breaks up all the buildup on your scalp so that it's nice and clean, the pores aren't clogged, and you're not getting the buildup on the strands of your hair as well. So you can, there's a couple different types of things. You can use shampoo, obviously, uh, but to really clarify, I also do an apple cider vinegar rinse, which is really, really good. We recently got, we recently got the scalp care cleansing oil from Not Your Mother's. This works really, really well too. It even says remove, build up, and restore oils on the hair, so it's not super harsh to remove all the oils, but it definitely helps in getting rid of some of the buildup. So we do an apple cider vinegar rinse about once a month and that really helps to just clear the scalp. I know that Curlsmith has a really good scalp care line. We haven't used it personally, but I've heard really, really good things about it. So you're really gonna wanna make sure you're adding all that moisture, adding all that product, that it doesn't sit on top of your scalp or your hair. So the third tip we're gonna give is to detangle. Curls tend to tangle a lot easier, so you're just gonna have to make sure that you're spending time detangling it um, at least every other day, if not every day. The best tool that you can use while you're detangling are your hands. Um, especially when you're first starting out and you just wanna get a feel for the hair, 
you're gonna wanna spend time just sitting there and using something like this milk that has a lot of slip in it and just but, working out all the tangles. It tangle. makes your hand slippery? It does. So you start with small sections. You wanna separate out, if there are any tangles, you wanna separate those out and really um, be patient while you're working them out. If you're really rough with the tangles, that's how you get a lot of breakage. And so you just wanna take your time with it. There are some times where I go quite a few days without detangling and so her hair has a lot of tangles. And so there are a couple things that you can do with that. Um, coconut oil works really, really well. If it's a wash day and her hair is really tangled, coconut oil has a ton of slip. It's too heavy for me to leave in her hair, so I only do it on days that I'm, I know I'm gonna wash it out, but that works really well. Another thing that I use is a tangle teaser. So I picked this up at Sally's, and what you'll notice is the bristles are really soft, so they don't get stuck and they don't pull. They don't pull at the tangle and rip the hair out. Brushes like this, the Deadman brush, are really, really nice, but not for detangling, only for styling. Because the bristles are too tough, so if you try to put it through her hair when, when there's tangles, it's just gonna rip them out or get stuck. All right, so tip number four is protect. And that can mean a couple different things. The biggest thing with protection that we use is a satin cap. So Rowan wears a satin cap every night to bed and that protects her hair from a cotton pillowcase because the um, cotton and, absorbs and, the moisture and, and, and causes friction. A satin cap is the number one way we protect her curls. So another way that we really like to protect her hair is with what's called a protective style. So sometimes I really like to do braids and you can add beads to those. You could do bad I'm, two I'm, knots. I'm, 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 I'm. If you want to, you can add like braided extensions or extra hair like that does for that protection. Feel, does this feel good? It does. So protective styles are a really nice way to protect the hair. I like to add a lot of moisture before I do a protective style because I know it's really going to soak it up and it's not going to get a lot of extra moisture throughout the week. Especially if I know she's going to be really active throughout the week. Up, up, up. I really like to do a protective up. style. The other way we protect it, um, especially in the summer before we go Is swimming, we is I like to add a lot of moisture before we go into the pool because then if her hair is full of that moisture, full of that product, then it can't absorb as much, as much of the pool water and as much of the chlorine. So that's a neat little tip to help protect in the summer. And tip number five, practice makes perfect. And so just practice, you know, whether it is detangling, practice using different protective styles, um, try all different types of products, you know, be a student, you know, that's really how I got to, to know as much as I did and I'm still learning so much, um, you know, so I would practice braids at the end of the night just to see, just to practice manipulating her hair and see how I could do. Learn how to read the back of bottles, see what types of, see what type of ingredients your hair likes, see what type of ingredients your hair doesn't like. And so it really is like an ever evolving journey. I always like to say it's a journey and so there, you know, while I'm four years into it right now, it's still a lifetime of learning ahead. And so it's it's fun when you think about it as a journey and not as okay. it has to be perfect every okay. single day. Uh, it's really wait. exciting. So those are our top five wait, tips wait, wait. when dealing with curly Bye. hair. Make sure you head over to Elizabeth's channel. I'll link it in the description box. I'll link it down below. Did you learn something new from any of the tips we gave? If you did, if you did, leave it below. I would love to hear if you're coming over from Elizabeth's channel. If you are, go ahead and comment down below, girls with the curls. Well, she gives you your top five don'ts for curly hair. We'll see everybody next time. Bye. Bye. I did, and it truly is a great photo so you can see. Hey, Mom. Mom, that's how you be you. Excuse you? Oh, <laughs> oh stinky touch. Excuse me. <coughs> Don't do that. That's what you did. No, I didn't date your hair in front. I'm going to a party. Mm hmm Where is it? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I messed up. Huh.
I need this in the bag. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Why does everybody have a butt? Because that's just how humans are made. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You hear this voice that I tell you? It's called the Denman brush. But I would make a butt. Sorry. No, I need it like this. I'm going to use the feminine mesh. Famous chive blue. It's not that hard and it's a little bumpy. Yeah. So, I'm going to use this combiner. I got it at the Bailey's. Okay, so it's a number. But there's two of them made in my family. Um, and Alex is a good name, and, and Aaron's a good name. Right. Well, I'm going to head down a little bit. I said, oh, okay. do this. Talk. I got to do the back of your You are doing it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I need your head up, up, and talk. No, that was your head down. Bye. <laughs> It's... <laughs>